Are you considering hormone replacement therapy or HRT after a hysterectomy, but unsure if it will still be effective? In this video, we will dive deep into the question, if I've had a hysterectomy, will HRT still work for me? Join us as we explore the science behind hormone therapy post hysterectomy and provide expert insights to help you make an informed decision about your health. Stick around until the end to hear a myth completely debunked. Today, I'm going to be diving deep into HRT and answering all of the questions you've ever had. I'll be talking about how it works, what it does inside of your body, if it's actually effective after a hysterectomy, and more. The chapters of this video are in the description in case you wanted to skip to anything. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, and let me know in the comments, what's your opinion of HRT? Would you ever get it? Why or why not? I would love to hear your thoughts. So let's begin. First off, how does HRT actually work? Hormone replacement therapy or HRT works by supplementing or replacing hormones that are naturally produced in the body, but may become deficient due to various factors. Here's how HRT typically works. First, we start with an evaluation. Before starting HRT, a healthcare provider evaluates your medical history, symptoms, and hormone levels through blood tests to determine if HRT is suitable for you. The next thing we do is always a prescription. Based off that evaluation, your healthcare provider prescribes hormone medications tailored to your specific needs. These medications may include estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, or a combination depending on your individual hormone levels and symptoms. The next thing is administration. HRT can be administered in various forms. These include pills, patches, creams, gels, injections, or vaginal inserts. The chosen method depends on factors such as the type of hormones prescribed, your preference, and medical considerations. The next thing is regular monitoring. Once you start HRT, your healthcare provider will monitor your progress closely through regular checkups and hormone level assessments with blood work. This helps ensure that the treatment is effective and adjusted as needed to optimize hormone balance. We always wanna make sure we're also managing your symptoms. HRT aims to alleviate symptoms associated with hormone deficiency or imbalance, such as hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, vaginal dryness, and loss of libido. By restoring hormone levels to a more optimal range, HRT can improve the quality of life and overall well-being. So what are the long-term benefits and risks? While HRT can provide relief from menopausal symptoms and other hormonal issues, it's essential to weigh the potential benefits against the risks. Long-term use of HRT may be associated with certain health risks, such as an increased risk of blood clots, stroke, heart disease, breast cancer, and other conditions. However, keeping your body physiologically normal usually reduces these side effects significantly. Your healthcare provider will discuss these risks and benefits with you to help you make an informed decision about your treatment. Now let's get to the major question. If you've had a hysterectomy, will HRT be effective? Well, the short answer is yes. If you've had a hysterectomy, hormone replacement therapy can still be effective, but it may be different from HRT used by women who haven't had a hysterectomy. Here's what you need to know. Number one, hysterectomy basics. A hysterectomy involves the surgical removal of the uterus. In some cases, the procedure may also involve the removal of the ovaries or what's called an oophorectomy, as well as the fallopian tubes. Depending on the type of hysterectomy you've undergone and whether your ovaries were removed, it can impact your hormone levels and the need for HRT differently. So what are the types of HRT? HRT typically involves estrogen therapy either alone or in combination with progestion, a synthetic form of progesterone for women with a uterus. If you had a hysterectomy that removed your uterus but retained your ovaries, you may only need estrogen therapy since there's no risk of uterine cancer. So what are the benefits of HRT? HRT can significantly provide benefits for women who've had a hysterectomy, such as alleviating menopausal symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, and mood swings. It can also help prevent bone loss or osteoporosis and reduce the risk of fractures. But you want to make sure your treatment is individualized. Your healthcare provider will customize your HRT regimen based off the factors such as age, menopausal symptoms, medical history, and whether your ovaries were removed during the hysterectomy. They may prescribe estrogen alone or in a combination of estrogen and progesterone if you still have your ovaries. So let's talk about the considerations and the risks. 
While HRT can be effective, it's essential to discuss the potential risks and benefits with your healthcare provider. Long-term use of HRT may be associated with certain risks, such as blood clot, stroke, heart disease, breast cancer, and other conditions, but we already spoke about that. Your provider will help you weigh these risks against the benefits of treatment. You always want to make sure you have regular monitoring. If you are on HRT after a hysterectomy, your healthcare provider will monitor your hormone levels and overall health regularly to ensure the treatment is safe and effective for you. Let's get to the bonus now. Debunking the myth. If you've had a hysterectomy, you don't need HRT anymore. While it's true that a hysterectomy removes the uterus and in some cases the ovaries, it doesn't automatically mean that hormone therapy is no longer needed. The need for HRT depends on various factors, including whether the ovaries were removed during the hysterectomy and the symptoms experienced after surgery. Now here's why. Ovaries directly affect hormone production. If the ovaries are removed during the hysterectomy in what's called an oophorectomy, it results in surgical menopause, causing an abrupt drop in hormone levels. In such cases, HRT may be necessary to replace the hormones, estrogen and progesterone, that the ovaries would typically produce until natural menopause. We also want to focus on symptom management. Even if the ovaries are preserved, some women may still experience menopausal symptoms after a hysterectomy due to hormonal changes. These symptoms can include hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, mood changes, and bone loss. HRT can help alleviate these symptoms and improve your quality of life. Bone health. Estrogen plays a critical role in maintaining bone density. After a hysterectomy, especially if the ovaries are removed, there's an increased risk of osteoporosis due to these hormonal changes. HRT with estrogen can help protect against bone loss and reduce the risk of fractures. Individualized treatment. The decision to use HRT after a hysterectomy should be individualized and based on factors such as age, menopausal symptoms, overall health, and personal preferences. Some women may choose to use HRT for a limited time to manage symptoms, while others may require long-term hormone therapy. It's essential for women who've had a hysterectomy to have open and informed discussions with their healthcare providers about their hormonal health and the potential benefits and risks of HRT. Every woman's situation is unique and treatment decisions should be made collaboratively to ensure the best possible outcomes for health and for well-being. And there you have it, your in-depth guide to HRT post-hysterectomy. If you still have any questions or concerns, comment them below. I'd be happy to answer them. Interested in exploring HRT for yourself? Click the link in the description to book a consultation with one of our experts nationwide. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.